So have you decided to buy a new budgy or a new lovebird or a new cocktail? And do you know what things you should check before buying a new bird? What are those things that you should check first hand before buying a new bird? So if you want to know what those things are that you should really check, watch this video. And I'm going to tell you a very, very important tip at the end of the video. So watch this video completely. And if you like this video, hit the like button and also subscribe our channel because we make videos on various kinds of diseases of your birds and how to cure them, their treatment. And not only that, we discuss about many bird facts that you should really know. So watch our videos and also subscribe our channel. Guys, I am Tohin Biswas and you are watching Happy Birds to you. Let's start today's video. So guys, let's talk about our video's main topic. Guys, the first thing, the very first thing you should consider, you should check before buying a new bird is whether they, whether the bird is sick or not. You have to buy healthy bird, okay? In any case, you need to find a healthy buddy or a healthy love bird or a healthy cocktail. Any bird you are going to buy, you should check whether they are sick or not. There are various symptoms of sickness of birds or yeah, or fever of birds uh, you should really check whether the bird is active or not. in the most cases the less active birds are more sick okay the the healthy bird will make noise they will make fun they will be running here and there they will be flying they will be climbing on the cage they they will do whatever they want but a sick bird which is uh, comparatively not so healthy are tend to sit down in a corner sit on the uh, on the floor of the cage or on the branch on a stick they they are not that much active they are so much so much tired to do any activity okay so those are the unhealthy birds they are sick or they have got fever so stay away from those birds you have to not you don't have to buy those birds try to find which bird is healthy who are jumping around playing around they are who are flying the most important thing you should check whether the bird is flying or not that is very important the more the bird will fly the more healthy he is so check these things first and sometimes you can tell your that bird is healthy or not by looking at their eyes a eye of a healthy bird will look something like this okay they are completely round completely circular that is a sign of a healthy bird but in the most cases in the most case of sickness you will see their eyes are little like closed okay not completely closed but little like closed their that eye shape the eye is now quite like elliptical shape not completely circular this is a symptom of sickness sometimes birds keep their eyes completely shut when they are sick or they have fever so watch these things very carefully these are the small details that you should check before buying any new bird if you see these things that is uh, eye of their bird is almost closed or uh, completely closed what don't don't buy those birds now some birds actually are healthy you will see that they are running around they are jumping they are climbing on the cage but they are not flying okay these birds there are some kind of birds in every in every kind of bird species it, uh, you will find this kind of but these are called winged locked birds okay their wings are locked and they can't fly and you don't need to buy those birds because a bird which who can't fly actually can't breed so well okay so don't buy those birds if you want to keep them as a pet only a one pair okay that's fine then you can buy them but if you want to buy as because you want to breed them more then please don't buy this bird because they won't breed good okay so you, you can understand when they can't fly they can't even mate properly so don't buy this bird Another important thing is their vents from where their poop or their droppings come out that is called vent you have to check that also I mean not like that checking you don't have to watch and <laughs> okay you don't have to open it and watch no you have to check whether that area that vent area is clean or not whether the poops or the droppings are stuck on that area or the feathers of that area is wet or not whether it is dry or not these are things you should watch if you see that feathers of that vent area is kind of wet that then their bird may have some loose motion issues some stomach upset things and you should not buy those birds 
and same thing happen when they have some loose motion or diarrhea and that kind of stuff you will see that the poofs or the droppings are stuck on the vent and you don't have to buy those but because those are sick and they need proper med medic medication first and if you are not experienced to handle them the birds may die so you should not buy those birds now there is one thing that many breeders actually forget completely forget to check but that is actually very much important that is the fingers the claws the toes of their birds and you will see sometimes uh, we find some birds who are completely healthy they even fly but they have some toes missing some fingers they don't have and sometimes their nails are broken those birds are actually not good for breeding if you want to keep them as pets one or two uh, piece of birds then it is fine if you don't want to breed them more then it is fine but if you want to breed them if you want more eggs if you want more chicks to come then you can't buy these birds because they can't mate they can't breed that is absolutely no chance so please don't buy these birds another thing that many breeders forget to watch that is whenever it is sometimes happen that in a colony where or where the birds are actually uh, kept by the seller have fight with other birds okay so many birds have a fight with each other, uh, each other for various reasons for uh, breeding purposes or for the cage of or for the uh, nest box where they may lay eggs there are several reasons for they they fight okay so sometimes happens that one bird gets severely damaged severely injured because of this fight and you will see the injury over their head over their bodies but sometimes the injury happens under their wings okay and that thing many breeders don't check they forget to check under the wings they only see the upper portion of their body over the head over the back on the stomach on the belly and they don't check under the feathers you should check that because if there is a very big amount of damage under there the birds may not fly and if a bird can't fly it can't breed well as i said before so check that also first now these are all the main things that you should check before buying a new bird and also you should check that if the bird is sitting around without as i said if they a bird is sick or have fever they are tend to do they are tend to be silent and quiet they don't do many activities they are quite like less active birds but you will also see some birds have puffed up their whole body the whole feathers are coming kind to of puffed up and they look like some kind of sponge or sponge ball and those birds are also sick okay this is also the symptom of sickness that i uh, forgot to tell you in the previous point but you should know that that if a, if you see a bird is quite less active and it has puffed his whole body up and their eyes are quite tough, quite like closed then that bird is sick and you should not buy that bird now the most important tip for you whenever you think you are you will buy a new bird from it can be any bird from it will can be budgy love bird cocktail finches any bird you you can buy i recommend you not to buy those birds from any bird seller okay not in from any stores don't go there because you don't know actually what in what kind of situation in what kind of circumstances or in what kind of uh, cage or whether it is tidy or untidy you don't know in what situation that bird was this whole time okay so it may have some kind of disease it may have some kind of viruses in 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 itself and the seller won't tell you which medicines they have provided last or they won't tell you which because uh, birds needs different kinds of medicines in different kind of uh, time of or whole year okay so if the uh, seller has not kept their birds in a proper way the birds which is now seems healthy can decrease their health can uh, be unhealthy can get sick in a very near future so don't buy i please try to avoid bird sellers or pet shops from buying birds i recommend you to find some breeder who is actual breeder who is breeding their birds in his own home or in their own aviary or colony contact them and if you need bird try try to buy those birds from those breeders 
because they will give you the genuine type of birds because they are you can actually see you can go to their home you can see what kind of situation in the birds are in how he is treating their birds you can take advices from them and that is the best thing you can do for your birds and that is the best place for you to buy new birds so i recommend you to find some bird breeder and contact them and buy birds from them that is the best thing you should do now many of you haven't even heard of a strange kind of disease that is called scaly face what is this scaly face and how can you cure it and how can you prevent it first if you want to know all this watch this video and if you want to know more about heat stroke of your birds what is heat stroke and how it can happen watch this video now